Hi Bellabies, welcome to Community Living with your girl Malebo. If you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe and if you're stopping back by and just continuously supporting the channel, you know the jingle by now, so sing along with me. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So thank you, thank you to each and everyone that's been subscribing, commenting, liking and sharing. You know the deal, you know the deal. So we are on our way to 9,000 subscribers. So there's some people that haven't subscribed. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to subscribe because subscribing costs you zero, zero, but really means a lot towards the channel it growing reaching a lot more people as you can see in the title we're going to be talking about selling on take a lot as a beginner so this is for someone that has zero knowledge whatsoever or who has maybe some knowledge but it's not really clear as to what is the roadmap to selling on take a lot going to start off with prayer because prayer is important we need to reveal god in every instance that we can every situation that we can we need to just worship and honor him and glorify his name because he's awesome he's great he's a loving father and we just thank him for this day so we can close our eyes and uh, bow our heads so that we can prepare him Father God, we come to you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for this day. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for this person that has joined. And Father, we ask that you just bless them. Bless this channel. May it reach more people. And may they get to know how much you love them, O oh Lord, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And may they have an encounter with you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for our lives. And we just thank you for the ability to just connect, even if it's online. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The first thing about selling on take a lot that you need to know is that anyone can be able to sell on take a lot. So it's not for a select few people. It's not an exclusive thing that only certain people can do. Yes, there are certain criteria that you need to meet as someone that wants to sell on take a lot, but these are not hectic criteria to a point where you're like, mm -mm, I think I'm not going to do this because it's for this group of people, or that group of people. So one of the criteria that you need to just look into is that it is better to open a company to be able to sell on take a lot opening a company i will discuss it later it's really not such a big deal and it takes a couple of hours it does not need to be vet registered in order for you to sell on take a lot there's a tab that speaks about vet like the vet number but that's not a requirement for you to be able to sell so it's just something for companies that are already vet registered company does not have to generate any income for you to be able to start from the time that you decide to uh, go to take a lot seller portal which is where your application will be they give you about two to three months for you to finish the entire application if you fail one part of this process of this application process it does not necessarily mean that's it never again you're disqualified for a lifetime you are allowed to continuously check yourself and continuously improve on your submission and so forth so i was fortunate in a sense that every single uh, step that i took was one that was approved right i've never got a rejection so i cannot say what happens in the case that some of the um, things that i did were rejected can't sell branded items so a friend of mine when i told him about this opportunity and he was talking about how he wants to sell baby formula and he just thinks that that's something that you know is always going to sell he cannot specifically sell unless if he's authorized by companies that sell these products like your claim your nest sprays um and so forth if they give him authorization to be a reseller then that's the only instance that take a lot will allow him to sell those products but otherwise if you do not have authorization from the original uh, equipment manufacturer you are not allowed to sell any branded items even if the brand is not a popular brand so maybe it's a something that is marked and it says uh, Malibu or something like that, right? So that that is a brand. That is a brand itself. So you need to make sure that there is no marking on your thing. So it's just a nameless product or nameless brand that you can be able to sell. You are allowed to apply for as many products as you want. You're not limited 
to one or two products and you're also not limited to the category that you initially apply for so if you want to sell beauty products you can sell beauty products electronic products you can sell them um health products you are not limited to the category and you're not limited to one product so as many products as you can sell uh, you are allowed to definitely do that i'm not sure if there's ever a limitation where they can say okay no you've listed too many products but remember with take a lot it's about your performance as a seller so if you're performing bad your account will be suspended so it's best if you start with one or two products learn the business learn how it works and once you've really learned the business and you can even scale your own business that's when you can get like maybe two three additional products but before then don't go and um yeah you know register for 500 products at once and be overwhelmed by the business itself so now we're going to talk about the registration aspect of it all right so i spoke about how you're able to do on your own so you register for a cipc profile then you go to biz portal with your cipc profile or you can even go to biz portal straight without registering for cipc profile so once you've done that then you can be able to go and register for a company and get that company registration done within 24 hours they're only going to require the id number and so forth in your address like common things they don't even require any documentation this is like a fully digital service that you can do within 24 hours but as i mentioned if it's something that is tricky for you you can definitely holler at me so that i can be able to help you um and so forth at a fee again so then again you need to register for a bank account standard bank has the cheapest bank account in SA called Standard Bank My Movies. I'm not plugging anyone. I'm not plugging anyone because they are not sponsoring this. <laughs> but then I'm plugging you. Uh, this is not an ad. I'm plugging you since you are following me, since you're subscribed. So I am giving you the gems. I'm giving you what to do, how to do it. So yes, then with Standard Bank, the My Movies account is five friends and with it being five rent you can easily you know register for it and know that you're only paying five rent per month and once you have deposited your first 500 bucks it will definitely last you for a decade but you don't necessarily need business partners so you're one person and you're wondering like oh how's that gonna work with me registering for a company you are allowed to register for a company on your own without business partners it comes to the cost associated with running this business so firstly there will be a monthly fee so that monthly fee is the standard fee of 400 bucks once you've listed products but if your product is selling that 400 packs should not be bad there's a success fee and fulfillment fees so that's for every product that you are selling for me with a product that's worth two uh, 250 or so that's plus minus 55 bucks that goes to success fees fulfillment fees and vet so these fees will vary from person to person to look into that as you determine your profit margins as you determine how you're going to run your business a lot of people will also want to know like where did i source my products how much did i spend for sourcing my product i sourced my product on alibaba so my first product i bought on alibaba and i know alibaba is a mess for people that are buying for the first time that will be a separate episode if you want to see that episode please comment with alibaba i spent about plus minus five thousand on alibaba that included um the cost of the product the shipping fee the customs and duties that was plus minus five thousand and that was 400 items so this will also vary from person to person it depends what you're buying depends where you're buying it from it depends on the shipping fees it depends on the customs and duties so there will be so many factors as to why it ranges from any amount i would recommend that as you are starting don't spend anything more than seven thousand even on these items inclusive of customs duties and shipping don't spend anything more than that because you're still testing out the waters you're still going to learn you're still going to make so many mistakes so make sure that you're not paying too much on that so that will be part of your investment cost in terms of coaching services is it a must to take on coaching services i took coaching services with la light i'm going to just show you YouTube channel just here but i wouldn't say that it is something that is a prerequisite or that's mandatory yes obviously if you feel like you're going to be overwhelmed if you feel like you're not going to know what to do how to do it because there is a lot 
there's definitely a lot guys but if you are able to just take it one step at a time learn at your own pace learn at your own rate and understand as much as you can then there's no need but if you are going to be overwhelmed do take coaching services they definitely were worth it for me when i started out right now not as much because i think i am starting to get the hang of it but i'm glad that i took the 10 lessons it's really something that initially it is that nerve-wracking and overwhelming but once you've um been accepted and you do the onboarding you will learn like so much of it and do pay attention in the webinars do pay attention in the onboarding session because there's so much to learn there is definitely so much this is a business a proper business you need to learn how to meet your service level agreement as a supplier and other considerations in terms of cost you need to consider courier services or the way that you're going to get your items from your house to the take a lot dcs or main centers so something that you will have to do on a regular basis and yeah those costs are going to definitely be there as part of your running cost and then printing costs or printing fees depending on what you're using i opted to get a printer i'll show you guys my print you don't necessarily have to buy this printer i'll speak about why i chose this specific printer maybe in a separate video so if you also want to see that video the unboxing and just speaking about uh, like how this printer works definitely comment down below where print essentially it i can't think of anything that is more important than the list that i've actually given you right now so make sure that you go through it thank you very much for joining and i really hope that this is going to help you in your journey and you know exactly what to do how to do it when to do it why you are doing it and so forth and it really is a fantastic journey and i think this is one of the best ways to start selling products as someone that is also a beginner yeah you can obviously later on go into online stores because it really teaches you the art of selling products online doing research on the products on which products to sell so i really really hope this information helped you and yeah enjoy god bless